So here it is. We got our update. Uh, pretty much got the sky filled in nice and blue. Uh, obviously we got some gray skies in reality back here, but when I capture this final picture, there's some blue sky over there. When I capture this final thing, I want it to be blue skies. You know, maybe a few clouds in the background or we'll see what it's like, but you know, that's my that's one of the the benefits of painting is that you get to make decisions like that and I just like blue skies it's summertime and and um, I'm kind of over the winter so we're going blue and anyways this is just the underpainting so you know a lot of this will end up being covered by the canopy of the tree all these leaves and branches and details so for now I'm just kind of laying it out so that when I go over it um, there'll be a nice backdrop of a of a sky so my next thing is to just kind of move. I like to move from back to front. So I'm starting with um, I'm starting with the sky being the furthest out there, also the closest. But I start with the sky, move into the background, which will be those trees, kind of sitting on the back side of this hill, and then likely I'll fill in the foreground, and then finally fill in the tree, which is the focal point of this painting and yeah I guess that's it for now I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you later about the, the paint that I use I, and the solvent free techniques I, I want to get into some detail about that but for now we're just we're just too stoked to be painting and, and keep this going so check in in a bit old tree group we out peace